Jerry Springer's long-running talk show had plenty of critics, including sometimes Springer himself. But the host's impact on his fans was immense, and now they're mourning his loss. Talk show host Jerry Springer has died at 79. The TV personality died peacefully at his home in suburban Chicago, according to a statement from the star's family. A spokesperson for the family, Gene Galvin, is quoted as saying, Jerry's ability to connect with people was at the heart of his success in everything he tried. Whether that was politics, broadcasting, or just joking with people on the street who wanted a photo or a word, he's irreplaceable, and his loss hurts immensely, but memories of his intellect, heart, and humor will live on. TMZ reports that sources close to Springer revealed that he battled a brief illness before he died. The outlet adds that doctors diagnosed Springer with pancreatic cancer in the months before his death, and his health deteriorated quickly in the last week of his life. Springer's death comes less than one year after he officially retired from his robust career career in television. The host of the long-running Jerry Springer show told WVXU, I'm 78 and have been in front of the camera now for 40 years plus 10 years in politics. I'm winding down. I want to try out retirement while I'm still healthy. It's been a 50-year run of being such a public person. I'm looking forward to getting up in the morning and not have a busy day filled with television production and promotion. They said it's time to come up. Unfortunately, Springer didn't get to enjoy his retirement for as long as he'd hoped. It's clear news of the host's death is hitting his fans hard. Comic and fellow host Lonnie Love posted a selfie she took with Springer to Instagram and captioned it. What I loved about Jerry Springer was the way he connected with people in a unique and authentic manner. This is why, as a talk show host, he excelled. Condolences to his family and fans on his passing. Some fans are simply in disbelief over the news, with several asking on Twitter if the reports of his death were true. Others are indulging in nostalgia over watching Springer's controversial talk show as kids. One fan tweeted of the host, he was there every sick day growing up. Of course, there are plenty of fond memories of Springer's unique brand of TV, which often glorified various types of dysfunctional living. Another fan tweeted, Jerry Springer is a real goat man, would show you 58 minutes of ratchetness and then wrap it up with some Socrates-level wisdom at the very end. One time for a sick day Hall of Famer. Whatever your opinion of Springer's show, he definitely made an undeniable impact across generations of TV viewers. At the height of its popularity, some observers saw that as a bad thing. In 1998, Senator Joe Lieberman petitioned to have Springer's show removed from the air. The senator argued that the show's violence had ill effects on children watching it. Put it on later at night when, when you're reasonably confident that a million kids around this country, children, won't be watching. But in every way that mattered to TV executives, Jerry Springer's show was an incredible success. The Jerry Springer Show first premiered in 1991 and remained on the air until 2018, running far longer than other notable 90s talk shows, including The Montel Williams Show, The Ricky Lake Show, and even The Oprah Winfrey Show. It also paid Springer quite well, leaving him with a fortune worth $60 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. 